We have a few more examples to practice the nomenclature of alkanes. The first one that we see here is a very simple one. This is a very simple molecule. Just to remind you to always find the longest continuous chain. And when I say continuous, that means that I see my chain without lifting up my finger. If to count a carbon, I have to lift up my finger that is not continuous. This is continuous chain. This one cannot because I needed to lift up my finger. This one is the longest continuous chain. This is not part of my continuous chain because I needed to lift up my finger. So in the first example, this one is very simple. Everybody probably will know that this is a pentane because we have five carbons long. The A and E is the family name. It has a methyl on position number two that can actually circle that one. So this one is a two methyl pentane. Easy. Now the next one is the bottom one. In this case, we need to make sure that we are twisting around when it's finding the longest hydrocarbon chain. So I will say circle it. This is the longest hydrocarbon chain, which is six carbons long, and the rest are the alkyl substituents. We say that these are two methyl groups alkyl substituents. First one was this one, my longest hydrocarbon chain. And it has two methods that I need to state using multipliers. So we have a 2, 4, this is carbon number 4, dimethyl hexane. When we look at the third example, for the third example is this one, I have two different ways to find my longest hydrocarbon chain. I see a branch, if I start in here, I move one carbon, I have one branch. Same thing in this side, I move one and I have one branch. But I need to consider the side that is giving me more branches right after carbon number one. If I number my hydrocarbon chain in two different ways, my numbers will be one, Two, two, because we remember that each alkyl group will have its own number. So I will say this is carbon number one, and this is carbon two for this alkyl group, and this is carbon number two for this alkyl group, and then carbon number four. When we add this number, that is giving me a seven. If I have label, and this is going to be wrong, don't write it down, and I say that this is carbon number one, then two, three, and four, and I use these numbers here. When I add them up, I get a 10. So that is an indicator that these numbers are wrong. Those are not the right numbers for my hydrocarbon chain. Once we know what is the longest hydrocarbon chain, it's time to group them. So we say, okay, what are my alkyl substituents? Since they are the same, all of them, I can group all of them, and we are going to place that the numbers, all of them together. You are not supposed to say this ever. You don't say 2-methyl, 3-methyl, or 2-methyl again, no. All of them, you group them, and you will say 2 4 and then trimethyl is taking care of that. So you're saying is you have a, in carbon number two, you have methyl twice, two, two dimethyl, but you also have one extra one in carbon number four. So now we have is two, two, four, trimethyl pentane, and this is only one word. Now let's practice for the very last example. For the very last Oops. For the very last, what we need to do is check on 
the longest hydrocarbon chain. Let's check the longest hydrocarbon chain. We have two substituents. And we are going to place it in alphabet. When you are looking for the longest hydrocarbon chain on my last case, I have two hydrocarbon chain that when I count it's going to give me a five. For example, if I go in this way, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, but I need to select the hydrocarbon chain that is given according to IUPAC rule, you select the hydrocarbon chain that will give you more branches. This one is giving us one ethyl group and one methyl group. Let me repeat that. We need to select always the hydrocarbon chain that is giving us more alkyl substituents. If I select this one, one, two, three, four, five, as my longest hydrocarbon chain, I will only have an isopropyl substituent. But that is wrong. According to the convention by IUPAC, what we want is to have as many alkyl substituents as possible. So for this case, we said that the longest hydrocarbon chain must be the one that provides more alkyl substituents. In this one, it will be a 3-ethyl, 2-methyl pentane.